morning, everyone. We'll go ahead and call the special call meeting of the Jackson City Council, June 26, 2018, to order. And if you would, please rise, and I'll lead us to the invocation and pledge. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. Father, we thank you for loving us. Uh, even as imperfect as we are, and Father, we will simply tell you that we love you and thank you for the cross, Father, and what it means for each of us. Father, we thank you for our city, a city that we call Jackson, Tennessee, Father, that you have continued to bless it over the years. You've blessed us now with um, jobs for being available to those who live here. A uh, growing economy, a growing city, Father, and we thank you and praise you for that, Father, and we thank you for members of this council whom you have ordained to take care of the business of this city, Father, and so we would pray that you would give them wisdom, discernment, and strength as we continue to do that, Father. We thank you again for this time together and just pray that when we leave here that uh, everything we do, everything we say will bring honor and glory to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning, Mayor and Council. Good morning, let me get the roll call here. Oh. We, we, got, we got to see who's here and who's not. All right. Well, Anita? Ready to go. Um, I tell you guys, y'all want to turn this down just a little bit. This is jumping back and biting me on my ear a little bit. Thank you. Um, I think you can show that um, Councilman Buchanan. Buchanan is out and also Councilman Wallace is missing. So, okay. <clears throat> um, Item four, we're going down to item four, and that's the invitation of public comment. I'll <coughs> simply indicate there's anyone here who wishes to be heard on uh, any item under new business. If you'll let me know at the time, I'll be happy to call on you. <coughs> first readings, we have none. Item five, we handled the first reading of the budget at our last meeting. Second reading, uh, item six, an ordinance to establish the FY July 1st, 2018 through June 30th, 2019 operating and capital budget of the city of Jackson, Tennessee. And let me, before we start out, let me uh, just indicate that Ms. Francis Hunley is here. If y'all have any questions about <clears throat> the previous uh, reevaluation of her property, she is here to answer any questions that y'all may have, if you have any. If not, uh, Francis, thank you very much for being here. Mayor, okay. I have a, I have a yes. few questions, if I may. Yes. If Ms. Hunley would like to come forward. Francis, you mind coming up and just taking we don't want to miss anything you have to say, so we're going to record you and get your picture. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Ms. Hundley, uh, first we would like to thank you for, for being here. Um, I just had a few questions, if I may. Could you first kind of explain what your position is and, and what it entails? I am the Madison County Assessor of Property. Okay. And how long have you been doing that? Well, I've been in that office for 33 years now, and That's I've been the time. assessor since 04. Okay. And, and Ms. Hundley, um, how does this year differ um, as this being a reappraisal year? How does this year differ from other years relative to property assessment? Well, uh, Every four years, the state puts us on a, uh, a cycle of reappraisal, and uh, we're on a four-year plan. It has to be uh, done every four years. So um, our, property, our office is charged with assessing and, and identifying all pieces of property in the county. So in a reappraisal year, of course, all the values change. There's right. very few that say the same. Right. Some go up, some go down. Right. And, Are they uh, expected to go up this year? Most of them did go up, and that's a good thing. A couple of years back, but things were down. Sure. People don't like it when they go down either. They don't like it when they go up. So 
So we're in a pickle, huh? Yeah. So uh, anyway, the purpose of having a reappraisal every so often is to equalize property because mm -hmm. if you'll think about it, it's logical that some properties do go up and some go down. If you left it for a long time, like in the old days, people things wouldn't be adjusted. So that's why we have reappraisal right. and why the state mandates that is to equalize property. Right. And how does the equalization board work with that? Could All you right, explain that as well? We've got uh, levels of equalization. Uh, that we have the county board that um, has two people appointed by the council and three people that are appointed by the uh, county commission. Well, when we have a reappraisal, above the county board, there's the state board of equalization, which Correct. is part of the comptroller's office. Right. <clears throat> and uh, when we have a reappraisal, the state board of equalization uh, has a formula that they do to, uh, it's usually lower in the tax rate. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, this is a copy, Francis, of the latest The one latest one. So uh, the state board lowered, and they call that the certified rate. They lowered the city tax rate to 1.87. It's right at 1.87. And um, so um, anyway, that, that is so that, um, that uh, jurisdictions can't get a windfall from the, from the reappraisal. Right. The values are up and you were to have the same tax rate, then you would have a lot more money. Correct. But they, they and in that formula, they take out all the new construction, so it's, the growth that you have is not figured into that formula. So you get that new money anyway. Uh -huh. But, uh, so usually it's down. So, so overall, do, does that mean there'll be more revenue for the city and county relative to the property tax? With that, uh, they call that revenue neutral uh -huh. when they uh, set that certified tax rate so as you cannot bring any, any more money than you did last year because of the reappraisal. Uh -huh. so. Those were my questions. Thank you very much for being well, here. I don't know if anyone else has any. Ernest, just to um, go a little bit further with what uh, Francis has said here, they take out, and this is in a perfect world which doesn't exist, 1.8673 or 1.87 rounded that she referred to in a perfect world would mean that everything remained equal. Some valuations went up, some went down. They take out the new real estate, real property here, and the uh, personal property so that you know you still get increases on new construction etc. the revenue would increase. But in a perfect world, if everything was done right, uh, the overall revenue would stay the same, the tax revenue. So are you saying, Ms. Honey, that if we go back to our 1.97, this would actually be an increase, is that correct? Is what you're saying? Yes, it would be. To, to not have an increase, it had to be Mayor, the certified rate. I'd like to make a motion that uh, we leave it as it is right now, 1.86. Okay. Uh, um, Al has that number saved. That is actually. Uh, this is the one we came. This is the last one. That's right? item two, uh, so Councilman, know. under second that's reading. Right. You want to hear the budget number? She that's right. Yeah. Right. 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 She said that that was the final one. Oh, okay. This is the final one. <laughs> I don't want to hear the budget. Yeah, Depending on what the other council, councilman and council. Okay, agency. if you got a motion, make it. Yeah, if you got a motion. Motion. A motion, yeah. motion. Set the tax rate at the certified tax rate, uh, which is out in the amount well, of. They just handed me a new <coughs> of paper. It is now <laughs> one point eight seven two two, and I think uh, Francis said it has now been finalized. Because all of the tax rate sheets that I've been given before were interim. Could you repeat that, Al? Well, Francis can probably address it, but as the State Board of Equalization and her office 
you know, continue their revaluation to make sure they have all new construction and uh, they have the depreciation on personal property, et cetera. Uh, as I walked into this meeting, I was looking at a 1.8673. That was an interim one that had been given to me last week. And in that week's time, now it has been finalized. It's only changing a, a half a cent or something at 1.87722. That's the final one. The state board was okay. making some adjustments because of the uh, some state assessed properties. And um, anyway, she said that was the last one. So now it's 1.87 is what the state is recommending. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, that's the motion I'm making. Okay, Councilman Cisco made a motion to go ahead and go to item two. And the second reading, which does not require a public hearing, and go ahead and establish the property tax rate for <coughs> the city of Jackson at the currently the assessed rate, which again is what, Al? 1.8, what? 1. Uh, it was just handed to me 1.8722. Okay, all right, that's made a, that's a motion from Councilman Cisco. Is there a second? Second. Check. I have a second. Discussion from council. Council, please vote. And that motion uh, fails with a 3 3 and 1 abstaining vote. Okay, we'll go back to <clears throat> item one. <laughs> Under the second readings, an ordinance to establish. Thank you, Ms. Hunter. Thank you. Thank you. In order to establish the FY July 1st, 2018 to June 3rd, 2019, mm -hmm. operating in capital budget of the city of Jackson, Tennessee. Al? And I'll start out by just showing the ordinance as it was presented at the first hearing. And the this is the first page addressing the general fund, which of course is the most important one. And we had 72,604 as far as revenue. 72,174 as far as expense, and that was about a $430,000 difference to the good. Now, during this time period, this two week time period, and going back and listening to the comments that were made by the council, and uh, Randy Wallace, the <coughs> treasurer, actually uh, put several in writing, uh, which we had. Uh, identified anyway and taken notes on so that we came up with and you should have a copy that was uh, issued last week uh, that showed we were and I'll go through all the details but this would change where we were 430,000 to the good the changes that we're going to present uh, would bring it down to 325,000 rounded the other funds uh, basically stayed the same uh, some of them had more revenue than expense to begin with, but I would like to suggest that we go ahead and uh, proceed with the uh, changes. Now, you were given, hopefully, uh, a page that was a little bit difficult to read. We tried to get all of the changes on one page, and as you can see, it was small writing, so I came back and... Uh, gave to Anita yesterday a blow up, I guess you would say, and hopefully this will be easier to address. You should have this also, uh, just being able to uh, identify on the screens and what is in front of you and what I'm going to address here. Now these are changes, like I said, that resulted either from additional knowledge being gained in this two week period are from questions that you, the council, ask. The first, uh, and we'll just go through these, the section I'm addressing here is expense changes to the general fund. And as you can see, let me explain something. When, when I put the budget together, when we, Karen, Sam, and I put it together, we're always about three to four weeks ahead of the county's presentation through their committees. So I had to use last year's uh, expenses on airport, library, and EMA. 
and subsequently I was able to get with Mike Nichols and get the actuals that were approved by the county commission and we've always had a pers uh, policy procedure interlocal agreement with the county where we would follow their lead whatever they approved for airport library EMA we would match so we have some changes here that are very small in, in comparison we had to increase the uh, airport by 2,000 and the library by 37,000 and EMA by 49,000 so those are really just matching what the county approved which we <coughs> have a precedent that we've always supported there because they interview these people uh, and we don't we really follow their lead on that how has the county adopted their budget I don't believe they've adopted it yet this came out of uh, the com uh, committee meetings okay um, I might be further on that hmm? it did the first reading. It did the first yeah. reading on yeah. it. Okay. okay and along those lines didn't they decrease taxes Not to my knowledge, but I wasn't present at the. Well, they the, increased them last year. <laughs> they increased them last year. Isn't the plan for them to decrease them this year? What are we doing, taking away from the old that, retired age city pension fifty thousand? Well, can we just wait a minute, David, and answer Ernest's Thank questions? Uh, I can wait ten minutes, Al. I don't have the answer to that as far as the decrease. I, I don't. I don't know either, Ernest. Really. Ms. Huntley, do you know? As far as I know, they're planning on adopting the certified rate. Mm -hmm. That would not be a decrease. Does that answer your question? If they adopted the certified rate. Right. I thought I had read that they were reducing property taxes. If they reduced the rate, it w this and went to the certified rate theoretically it's neutral mm -hmm. as Ms. Unley has said okay thank you and going down a little bit uh, further here transfer to education foundation um, councilman uh, Wallace pointed out that since we showed six million plus in there for the portion of sales tax it goes back to the July 27th agreement between the city and county that we any excess over the six million we needed to show as an expense going to the uh, Jackson Madison County uh, Education Foundation and I calculated that and there we're showing 210,000 that is an increase that was a valid one it was a good point brought up by Mr. Wallace then the rest of these going down are basically changes resulting from further review the farmers market traffic signalization groundskeeping contractual services there's nothing really major there the old city pension the reason that uh, we're decreasing that is unfortunately actuarial wise the number of um, old city pensioners is really more now with their spouses but each year we do have a number who <coughs> pass away and we reevaluated that and reduced it it's not that we're reducing their pension it's just the number of people actuarial wise uh, tends to go down but they will receive also the pensioners or their wives their spouses will receive the uh, COLA increase which we proposed at 4% but still we needed to reduce that uh, one of the major ones that came out of the review and the questions with fire and police was that there was uh, this year the uh, fire operations motor vehicle expense not fuel but the expense to repair was already exceeding the budget so we reevaluated that and put in a hundred thousand uh, dollars because of the age of their equipment and just what's happened in the real world and then also 
when you look at that uh, roughly six million plus that we're going to um, anticipate receiving on sales tax, uh, I had forgotten that we pay the county trustees fee of a percent and a half on all of the dollars that we receive through John Newman's office, whether it be hotel, motel tax, uh, or the uh, sales tax. So when you look at one and a half percent on six million, that's ninety thousand. Plus our sales tax, we uh, project to go up also. So we increased that fee by a hundred thousand. And we had a small change here in the contractual services transportation planning. So altogether, we increased expense by four hundred and eighty-five thousand which seemingly would wipe out that 430000 that we showed mm -hmm. previously. But as we go through this, you'll see that there are other offsetting uh, increases in revenue. Al, you mentioned a 4% COLA. Is yes. there a 4% COLA for all empo city employees in yes. this budget? All that qualify, yes. Oh. And it would also extend to the uh, retirees and the Thank old you. city pension. Then the, uh, the next area should be uh, the capital fund. And uh, we have Scott here that can address. Uh, most of these are changes in carry forward. In this two week interim, Scott and others were able to look at what they really plan to spend this year and change the carry forward to what we're going to, ex to expend <coughs> next year. So. Basically, it's just a revaluation. It's not increase in expenses. It's a revaluation of where, what we're going to spend this year and carry forward to next year. And the only one that's of uh, a real magnitude there, well, street resurfacing, of course, is. But the one that might beg the question is the Highland at Dedrick, a reduction of 519000 which that will be shown as a wash when we get down to the capital funds revenue, because that's really just a pass through. Are there any questions on these carry forwards, the adjustments? Okay. The next area that we would want to talk, address then would be the uh, revenues and in the general fund back this down a little bit uh, we changed the uh, current year property taxes after we received some reassessments and looked at uh, what our collection rate has been in the past. So we had uh, current year property taxes going up slightly, about 296000 And then we reevaluated the sales tax because we had the local option for the uh, city-county agreement going up like 6%. And then I was very conservative on our regular or normal sales tax. I only had going up about 1%, so we changed them both to be 3.5%, which is only common sense. If one goes up, the other goes up. So we decreased the uh, local option agreement with the city county and increased the normal uh, sales tax. So along with uh, some reimbursements and transportation planning, the reimbursement there was on the uh, animal care center, which uh, Randy again had challenged, where we were only showing uh, 35 or 40,000, 35, I guess, here. And uh, got hold of Vicki Lake, who is managing that project from a grant standpoint. And she said that we basically should probably, with the six events that they're having, uh, go up to about 75000 on revenue there. The basic money makers on those six events are the fur ball and the wine and dine. They have other events 
like the pond tour and that, but they bring in smaller amounts of money. So that was what we increased there. And then we come along to the capital fund. And um, I mentioned earlier we would see uh, that 519,000 negated. So it was uh, taken out here as far as expense and taken out here as far as revenue. And the other uh, adjustments were from uh, fund balance and the FE right improvements again uh, relating to the capital expense. Then we come down to uh, 211, the debt service, and as we increased the uh, revenue from current year sale uh, property tax, you know, the, we show the pie charts and it's split between the general fund and debt service, so that one also had to increase the same way as the uh, general fund. And then we come down to uh, solid waste and Kathleen and her landfill dumping has shown an increase in uh, <coughs> tonnage this year uh, on the portion that they bear, not the overall tonnage, but from demolitions and collections uh, off the street with the claw trucks and et cetera. So we decided to increase that by 25,000. So okay, Council, you got three pages of what we're going to consider to be an amendment to the first reading, the ordinance. And I guess right now, if there's any, if, if there's any questions, I encourage you to go ahead and ask them. But right now, we'll consider a motion to approve the amendments and then come back and approve the ordinance as amended. So right now we're taking a motion just to approve the amendments, which Al just went over. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Discussion? Council, please vote. And the vote is unanimous. Can okay, never come back and accept a motion to adopt the ordinance as amended? So and moved. Is there a mo second. motion? Second. Discussion? Adopt what, Mayor? To, to adopt the ordinance as amended, which we just we just approved all these amendments here, and we need to have that motion. We voted. Council, please vote. And the vote is unanimous. Um, at this point, I, I know I know we we probably need to adopt. I know we've handled the tax rate already, but to make sure that we're doing this as we're supposed to do it. Constitutionally, I think we, we're supposed to approve a motion to officially adopt or approve the tax rate as given to us by, is it Hunley? Is that part of the process? Well, I think that was already voted down in David Sisko's. It still needs to be approved, though, to, to approve the, 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 the tax rate as presented to us by the property assessor's office. Okay. Not necessarily adopting it for city use, but just to approve. Suddenly, that makes sense to you all? Okay. Okay, is there a motion then to accept the reappraisal of the property, the city of Jackson, as, uh, as presented by Ms. Hunley? Is there a motion? Okay, let me try again. <laughs> I think we're not, a, we're not adopting we're not asking the council to adopt this tax rate for next year's budget. What we're doing, I think, is just simply accepting what she, what she, what she has presented to us as being correct. And we're not in a position to say it's incorrect. So, so I assume second. it's correct. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second uh, to... Uh, so we're not accepting it for... We're not accepting it for purposes of budget. We're simply approving the fact that she presented the new evaluation to us, and we're okay with that number. That's basically it. So we're going to put a tax on the people, right? That's what this does. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, That's we're not. We're simply approving the numbers, Councilman, that <laughs> she gave to us this morning as far as the council approving and being in, uh, in agreement with the numbers that she gave to us, not to be used as a budgetary item, 
but just to okay the numbers that we got from her for tax evaluation. So it'd be one point nine okay? seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody good. Is that be one point nine seven is what it's going to be? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. All we're so, doing so is approving is, her numbers, excuse saying me, we approve of, of that number. Ex excuse me, Mayor. So yes. this is we're not voting on number two in second reading no. right now. No. This is different. No, not now. We're basically no. voting no. To no. Honest, on these numbers here that the State Board of Equalization and her office came up with yeah. the assessment numbers that were used in this that we're in agreement with those numbers but they will not be used in determining the, the budget for next year so we've already handled the budget rate for next year so this is just a just an effort to approve her numbers as accepted by Jackson City Council we had a second. okay we have a motion and a second council please vote and the motion and the, and the vote is unanimous okay now, well, what else? the tax rate that is in this budget that we just adopted is retention of our existing tax rate of $1.96. And those additional funds that would be brought in, and I did publish a public notice stating our intent to exceed the certified rate. And as we looked at before, any and all monies brought in by this 196 over the 187 that was now presented to me. This is the million 483 that goes directly to the capital. To the fund. capital, mainly street resurfacing. We've or already street voted. Resurfacing. We've already voted on that. Is there any other part of this budget that we need to mm -hmm. need to handle now? I mean, well, we do need to do a second reading. Right. Reading of this one here. The 196. Okay, all right. So we're looking for a, a motion to so move. establish the second, second rating. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Uh, so this means that um, our citizens will pay the same next year as they no. did this year. Is that correct? No, Not necessarily. If their if their <laughs> evaluation is the same, then they will. If their evaluation, but if the appraisal goes up, it'll be if it's up, they'll pay more. <laughs> if it's less, then they'll pay less yes. than they did last okay. year. Okay. <clears throat> Miss Hunley, you okay with that? It's not exactly right. I didn't mm -hmm. think so. <laughs> you want to clarify it for us? <laughs> Good. Please come up. Well, the certified tax rate is about already seven. That keeps Countywide, every citizen will pay more if you increase it above that rate. Mm -hmm. Every citizen. If you keep it the same. No, if you increase it to a dollar. Okay. Oh, when you're saying the same as last year, that's really irrelevant. It could be a dollar eighty-eight yeah. you're voting on. Okay. It's still right. an increase over the certified okay. rate. Right. Okay. The rate is an increase. Yes. yes. But if your appraisal stayed the same in a perfect world, or if it went down, then you would not see an increase in your taxes with this rate here. Uh, I don't know what percent went up and what percent went down. But that's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Everybody's taxes are re-equalized at reappraisal. Now you're deciding how much you're going to tax every citizen based on their value. Mm -hmm. If you adopt a rate higher than dollar eighty seven, everyone gets an increase. Right. Okay. Now that's per the state board. This is not my opinion. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, how? What's next on, on the approval of the, of the budget? This is the last item right here: is to approve the retain, retention of the dollar ninety six. Okay. All right. We have a. I'm going to withdraw my second to the motion. Can I do that? You can. So we're dealing with the 196 on second reading, right? I, know, I thought we'd yes. already voted on it, but I guess we didn't. We didn't really vote on it. No. I showed that all that money, if we vote on this rate, would go to the capital fund as a source of funding and would mean less borrowing in the future. How much money is that going to give us more? 1,483,682. Oh, it's not an increase. Okay. 
Okay, do we, on, this is approval of the 196 on second reading. Do we have, we have a motion, right? You have, we a, have motion. a motion. We don't, we don't have, have a second. Second. Okay, no, <clears throat> we have a second. Okay. Any discussion from council? Go ahead and Okay, hearing none, uh, council plays vote. And the motion passes with four members voting for it, two against, and one abstaining. Okay, Al, anything else that we need to do? Is that it? Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. There, there being no further business, meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. <laughs>